and so we walked up the valley with the wind in the face and uh, it's really heavy cover about 20 30 yards away it got out and uh, didn't really know what we were so um, that was good we just stayed there we gave it two or three minutes and then we stalked about 30 yards and uh, I thought huh oh, 20% chance of seeing this animal and it, it uh, appeared just in a real beautiful like someone had cut a lane but it's really heavy cover here and uh, Paul managed to pluck an arrow into it and, and it was a great shot at what was it about 35 yards yeah about I think yards. I am 35 and it went lower than what I thought so yep. when I arranged the trees it was standing around it was like 39 and it was up a really steep angle, yeah like uh, was that about poor oh, really 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 steep yeah so the actual arrow went tucked up underneath its leg and, and got right in and uh, cleaned its heart out more or less so yeah. we, we gave it 20 minutes and 20 minutes. it ran right up over here and we're pretty sure it's dead we're gonna go quick take a peek Yep. But we really didn't come prepared because we didn't really plan on this, did we? It's raining. No, we didn't. We kind of jumped the gun. So, um, yeah, uh, we're really confident about the shot. Um, I'm really confident about it. And, uh, yeah, I, think it's, I say we go look. Let's go and have a look. Unbelievable blood trail. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Voila, psycho deer. What do you think? Fantastic. Saw the antler poking up. Great. We did it. Good stuff, Paul. <laughs> Thanks. Perfect. I love it. Look at the blood. Look at how it bled. And voila, there it lays. Boy, so far two shots, two animals. I love it. That's right. That's the way bow hunting should be. <laughs>